okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Almost knocked my coffee over. What a way to start an episode after being gone for four or five days. Hi. Uh, welcome to another two-hour-a-day Poor Man Road to Glory. It's damn near the end of August, and I'm still on FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. I gotta give you as well. We should all give ourselves a big pat on the back. If you're still playing this game and having fun 11 months into the game cycle, I would say for the first time in probably five years, maybe more, have I still genuinely been enjoying myself on a release of Ultimate Team, even though I think a lot of us would agree this game still sucks in a lot of ways in terms of the servers and the gameplay issues and the broken meta. But the fact is that I, and I hope a lot of you guys that are still watching this, especially the viewers on Twitch, um, we're still finding joy within a game mode that we love. Even if there are some flaws and some issues, we're still finding joy. And for me, my main joy is, um, trying to just build out a dream team here on this two hour a day RTG. I'm very excited. I was talking to the Twitch chat a little bit about maybe in the future when my son is a little bit older, that the two hour a day road to glory turns into a father and son two hour a day road to glory. And what a great example to set uh, to maybe your kid or whatever and, and have like a bonding experience. My son loves football, loves playing FIFA in his off time. I mean, literally right now, if I could carry the camera outside, I could show you guys he's in the backyard training um football on his own like he's not i'm not it's not like i got him to do it but he's obsessed with the sport as much as uh i am and uh, he's not allowed on ultimate team yet because i don't believe in promoting gambling the children but uh he does play uh he does play pro clubs with his friends he plays uh player career he hasn't gone into manager career yet but he plays himself uh uh as himself in a lead setup which is just i mean i don't even understand how this has happened honestly i'm i'm so blessed to have a son that is now well he's not blessed but uh, anyways, uh, because he's just going to be in a world of pain being a Leeds fan for the rest of his life. But nevertheless, it's exciting. And the prospect of maybe having a father-son two-hour-a-day road to glory down the road, I think will be fun. And as I was trying to say, we'll set a pretty good example in that, you know, a couple hours a day on a video game I think is fine. On an, you know, not spending actual real-world money on a game. And then the, the bonding experience of two hours a day of playing side-by-side -side together in on an account in FIFA I think could be very, very enjoyable. So that might be coming if I'm still relevant in three, four years or something like that. Or maybe a couple of years depending, right? He's going into middle school now. So I don't know. He might be able to handle playing FIFA with me as long as I consistently explain to him the uh, pitfalls of getting addicted to opening packs. But anyways... That's for a later date. Speaking of the pitfalls of uh, opening packs and getting addicted, we do have a pretty heavy grind here. Now, I did a few things while I was away. Um, I, I, I did some daily logins, but we did like the silver upgrades, the grinding. Uh, we did the 80 plus. I, I, I did a preparation over the last couple of days of 80 plus packs, getting ready for today's epi. Uh, we had some 85 by 10. So the, the account isn't completely bare right now, which is exciting. And my target actually is from this episode, as always, to pack some good players. I really want to try and get that 99 messy. I, I know it's going to be near impossible, but I want to open those 90 plus PPs. Uh, today within the episode to try and get 99 Messi. That's one of my targets. And then I was thinking, we're going to open up a bunch of crazy big packs, of course, uh, see what we can get, but also saving those 85 by 10s for tomorrow. Tomorrow being Friday. I mean, I'm not too worried about champs or anything like that, but who knows what type of content is coming tomorrow. And could be the tail end of this series over this next week as well. As much as I'm having fun on the series, you guys know September 1st is kind of where I just say, like we retire from the current iteration of Ultimate Team. We say goodbye, we love it. And then we take a two or three week vacation until the new Ultimate Team or the new FIFA or the new EAFC comes out. So from September 1st till the 22nd, or which is when the official global launch of EAFC 24 is, for the Ultimate Edition at least, uh, I'll probably just not be playing Ultimate Team, but we'll be covering any EAFC news. So uh, that will be coming to the YouTube channel. On Twitch, we'll be covering that type of uh, news and information. I think the 85 plus by threes we can open though, right? Why not? And there you go. <clears throat> I did pack a couple. Ronaldo's a moments. Relax, Nick2080. I for a second thought that was going to be Cristiano. He is not an actual team of the season. Um, but yeah, so the, the plan for today. Wow. Okay then, well I needed team of the season, so that's a W. The plan for today is gonna be a heavy grind and then we save up the 85 by 10s and then we'll start making a plan for the end of this series. Like when are we gonna officially end the series? What date is it gonna end? Is September 1st gonna be the final day? Maybe where we would just release a goodbye video and just yeet the club into oblivion in the final episode and then just see what our dream team looks like. The crazy thing is today is episode 30. This has technically now been a one month of two hours a day on this account. 
And to look at, I mean, you guys saw earlier, the Dream Team, in a month of grinding, barely two hours a day, it's pretty impressive what we've been able to compile. I mean, we finished rank three, 16 wins, uh, 14 wins. We only did two weekend leagues because who cares about weekend league at this time of year. So we've kind of achieved, uh, I would say, a few decent things. Let's start with some 80 pluses, yeah? We got Lacroix as well. I need to build up the club with some gold, so it'd be nice to just stock up before we start building up the big packs. 60 hours, quick maths. Well, because we do two to three hours a day, it's like 60 to 90 hours, right? Ish, in and around there, which is still a very low amount considering what a lot of people would spend on a, on a video game or on their FIFA account. I think we've done very, very well. Like, by theory or by definition, we've spent 60 hours on this account. But truthfully, it's probably closer to 70 or 80 hours we've probably spent on this account, right? Actually playing. I mean, sure, there's been a lot of lo login time and whatnot, but that doesn't count. I mean, obviously not. Uh, so, let's get into the grind. I'm going to bring the uh, alerts back as well. There we go. Now that's what I call an eruption. It's a pretty good way to start. We got an eruption from Jeff. Thank you for the primer. Brand new sub, dude. Appreciate you. Bonora with the... Oh, oh God. You did it! Sorry, Nep screaming at me. Four and a half years. I can't believe it's been this long. Love ya, my Canadian brother. Hope all is well with you and your family and 28 love and 28 love. Thank you, Benora. Thank you for the $10 a month. I appreciate that, man. Ghent with the 70. Thank you, brother. And yes, everybody is doing well. Vacation was amazing with the family. Really enjoyed our time. We, we went to Whistler, had a great Welcome time. Welcome back, brother. I hope you, Steph, and the kids enjoyed the little vacation. We did, bro. Too many more months. Thank you. Hey, Amen. Thank you very much, man. Um, thank you, Noah Ryan. Caleb, uh, Zhao, Bones, and Flacco, Amen. all with the primer resubs. Thank you, guys. Much love, much love. So an 82 Zlatan? We just do, like, just craft Amen. the 85 by 10s. What I want to do is I want to craft the rest of these before they expire. I've got 43 minutes to do six more. Um, I have a team ready to go. So what was it? It was Zlatan, right? Zlatan and I'll need a Tots. So let's do this. Zlatan and then we'll go all the way down here. Um, see if maybe a cheeky Nani can be saved. What? Oh. 87, 88, there we go. Maybe a 92? No, so a 93 instead of a 95 works. That's beautiful. Love that. What's up, Mac? Yes, I did have a good time off, brother. I very, very, very much had a good time off. It was fantastic. And you know what? While I'm here, let's just do another one. Let's do another one. Uh, we'll start with the golds. There we go. Got one tots in there. First new then... car today at 21. What a rush of nerves and excitement. Well, congratulations, brother. You should be proud of yourself. Uh, I have never owned a new car in my life, and I'm 38 years old, so GG to you. Doing better than me. Although, to be fair, I do take great joy in buying a car a year too old and saving myself the 40% depreciation. Uh, however, I would love to once in my life get, like, a new car. Amen. I just... I'm a bit of an idiot, so the cars I really like now are kind of outrageously priced, and I don't think it makes any sense buying Amen. Uh, any type hey, of a Nick, Porsche new. Love you. I think I'm it'd be idiotic. From next FIFA and spend time with fam after there you go. 12 years of constant FIFA. There you go. No worries, Patel. You got to do what works best for you and Amen. your family for sure. So Welcome a 95. Back, papi. Boy, does a few days feel long AF without you at 6 p.m. every day and 28 lull finally got vacay with the fam tomorrow. Let's Hope go, Stroopan. Does a grass or two. <laughs> Thank you for the. Uh... Okay, so 94 does work. Does a 91 then work? Oh, wow. wonder if two 91s work. Definitely not, right? No. Okay, let's just do this. We'll yeet it. Be done with it. Thank you, Stroompan. Thank you, Patel. Appreciate you guys, man. Chotsky, Lewis. Thank you, boys. Much love, much love. Hey, man. Road to EAFC, baby. Let's go, dude. I'm excited, man. I can't wait for FC24. I'm very, very hyped. Very, very hype, dude. Do, 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 do. Okay, so what are we at? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, my days. Oh, we got we got a lot, boys. Damn, Friday's going to be a nuts epi. <laughs> it's just going to be 85 by 10s. 
I wonder how many I'll be able to have. Maybe 20 85 by 10s ready to roll? That'd be sick. Want that hero company? Brother, I need a front three. I need a front three. Or I guess I'm gonna I always play four, two, three, one, but let's say part of my front four is gonna have to be Cruyff and Schneider. That's just gonna have to happen. Maybe we'll get a Dimitar Berbatov early on, test him out, see how that first touches. Get a bunch of Dimitar Berbatov um, voice lines as well as we score goals. I I'm excited for evolutions both on the two hour day RTG and the rich man, like the main account. The evolutions on the RTG are obviously going to be a little bit harder because I only have two, maybe three hours a day to grind. But let's go! Oh. Thanks, Alpha Batch. Appreciate the kind words and the welcome back. Dude, I'm so excited for Wesley Schneider, man. Pulling all the strings. Johan Cruyff will be at Striker. That's my target for the first week on the main account, is to have Schneider and Cruyff from week one. And then we'll, we'll make sure we always have the best version of Schneider and Cruyff in our team. They're going to have to be starters. Is there anyone else in the team that will have to be a starter on the main? Maybe like one or two of our Evos, right? What's up, Thomas? Good morning. Yeah, Schneider, Croy for sure. I don't know. I think the, the second coming and the, the redemption of Wilfred Nanto for Leeds might have to... Uh, I might have to take part in that. Chavi Simmons, not a bad shout. Evo Chavi Simmons. Maybe an Evo Frankie de Jong. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Imagine a best possible Dutch squad, man. Imagine... Oh, Aryan! Yeah, we need an Aryan Robin, bro. Absolutely, Aryan's got to be in there. Evo Archie Gray for sure. Evo... Dude, I, Joe Rodon, man. I know he's only played one game for us, but what a baller. Pascal Stroik and Joe Rodon Evo cards. Maybe a Cody Drame Evo card as well. Elan Melier Evo. Dude, if, if there's a dive option, I'm going to be applying it constantly with Aryan Robin, making people rage. Hey, man. Hope the vacation was great. Beautiful family, brother. As someone who has a wife and two kids, I can't truly communicate how lucky and fortunate we are. Amen, brother. Just trying to live in the moment, my man, right? When there's those stresses and you've got a million adult things going on in the back of your brain and your kid's sitting there looking up at you, chatting your ear off about the most mundane things, the easiest thing ever is to kind of just dismiss it and ignore it. The best thing you can do ever as a parent is in the back of your head say, live in the moment. Actually listen to what my kid's saying. Be fully engaged into what little princess thing they're talking about. Because, dude, this that that goes away so fast. It goes away so fast, man. You, you know, one day you might find yourself on your deathbed, whether you're in your 30s or in your 90s. And then you're going to be like, god damn, I wish I actually cared and enjoyed the moment where my daughter was just talking my ear off about the most mundane thing ever. So... I try and bring that reality to myself anytime I'm ever feeling stressed or if like Ethan's sitting there explaining something ex incredibly detailed about his like friend at school and whatever. Uh, look, we're human, right? So it's always easy for you in the back of your head to kind of just zone out and like let them just ramble on and on and on. But what a W move it is as a person yourself to be able to consciously not do that and just enjoy the moment. Super key, man. Super, super key to do. Super key to do. Constantly have to take a breath, sit back, and know that present will never happen again. Exactly, brother. The present is all you have. You know, even if I'm sitting there being like, I, I get extra anxious or have like these panic attacks or whatever. One thing that I found, and it doesn't, it's not going to work for everyone, right? But one thing that I found that really, really helps out, man, is as there's, you, you've you noticed your mind starting to take over and things getting crazy. Like, I got to get out of here. I got to, this is horrible. Everything is terrible. If you could pull yourself back and be like, just live in the moment. Understand that I have a loved one in front of me or there's someone in front of me. You just focus on that. It almost takes you out of your head. It's It's an interesting thing that, can't remember who or what 
taught that to me recently in the last couple of months, but it has helped a lot, man. Like whenever I find myself doomsdaying or, or getting a little bit too overwhelmed, just living in the moment, ignoring the end of the world, the global warming, all of that stuff, just, just for that time when you know your brain is really, really messed up, really helps out. I'm not saying you should ignore global warming or whatever, but helps a lot. All right. Chill well. It's another 85 by 10, baby. Well, these will be done in no time. Saw Dave Chappelle off night, last night. Nice. Pipe me now. That's awesome, dude. Wait, musical guest Nas? Damn. What a show that. I'm kind of jealous of that. That's pretty awesome. Got Fuddy's name art yesterday from the 90 plus, 90 plus pick. GG. I'm sure there's someone in the FUT ecosystem right now that has 99 Messi, 99 Ronaldo, 99 Mbappe, and 99 Ney. If they do, they, they've completed FUT, right? Do, does, do I replace um, Coolie Daddy with Lacroix, guys? Would you be replacing Coolie Daddy with Lacroix? What, what would you guys do? I think Coolie Daddy's got to stay, right? Okay. We're just talking dream team things, right? Wait, did I use all of my uh, team of the seasons? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, well, I can't, I can't do this hey, then. Less than three. Oh, I did use all my team of the seasons. Yikes, that's awkward. Okay, all good. Lacroix is clear. Okay. Start maybe one of these instead then, because I don't have a tots. Um. Dude, I don't know if anybody's going to replace uh, my Konate. Dude, that 97 Konate is crazy. Also kind of cool that I got him from Champs after two weeks. Two champs runs and we unlock them. It's pretty wild. I'm pretty proud of that. Lucio's insane. Yeah, Lucio would probably replace Coolie Daddy, I would say. I'm just going to see if a 97 works. Oh, 96 works. All right, see you later. Robin, good day to you. Araho Konate, I believe that. Well, or, or, uh, um, um, Kunde. Kunde Konate's gotta be cracked, right? Kunde Konate's gotta be crazy. I faced that Fuddy's Kunde twice and he was nuts. Bro, the two times I placed that, uh, faced that Kunde, it was a kunde Kulibali combo, and I honestly considered deleting FIFA. Everything sells, hey? Nick, on this vacation, did you almost have explosive diarrhea and almost go on the streets or have to use the women restroom? Uh, so RBI, thank you for the 67 months. I, I actually was very violently sick on the Monday of the vacation. I don't know what's going on with my body internally, man. I eat so healthy, so clean, and yet, so yeah, it was. Uh, it w there was nothing like it was in Kelowna when I was uh, on vacation. N no emergencies like that. But I, I had to go to the bathroom four times, man, on Monday when I was out in public, dude. I I discovered four public restrooms. I normally never go in public. This new version of me with the most messed up intestines ever is just now using public restrooms like they're my home restroom. It sucks. Public restroom reviews. Apparently, there's someone on TikTok that makes insane money doing that. Isn't that ridiculous? That's the that's the world we live in right now. Someone's famous for doing exactly that. I don't have TikTok, but I saw it as a repost on Instagram, and that's when I closed Instagram and haven't opened it in a couple of weeks. A lot of people are sick in the beginning of holidays if they're overworked, stressed. Yep. Yep. Did I pack a tots? Guys, did I pack a tots? 
Because I'm going to need one no matter what, even here. Oh, do I have an inform? Let's see. What are the doctors saying regarding your issues? They're saying, hey, dude, you can have an appointment in one and a half years. Thank you, Canadian medical system. That's what my doctors are saying. Because Canada sucks. Hey, man. Oh, you know what? Let me go do a, uh, let me go do uh, an 85 by 10. I'm not even joking. You think I'm joking? I'm not joking at all, by the way. Damn, I used all of them. That's wild. JP just playing! Thank you, brother. Yeah, so, I don't know. I could be dead by the time I'll actually be able to go see a doctor. Fantastic. And then... Should we use DDO? That would probably get us the rating. Ha 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 ha! Funny guy! Funny guy! Damn, Allison doesn't even do it. What the hell? Gonna do it again! Bro, like, what am I doing, even? I guess I'll just do this, dude. Like, I... Whatever. Who cares? Icon player pick. Easy to do now. Yep. I know, but I want to make sure I do the 85 by 10s before they uh, reset. Because I want to build up a bunch for tomorrow. So I hey, need man. to get the 85 by 10s Thank done first. You do, Nick. N28 love, N28 Thank you, boss. Love, N28 love. Much love to you, man. Thank you for the kind words. Castro with the highlighted message, pack Shapeshifter Pele. Hey, dude, whatever, dude. How about that? How about that? But is it 99 messy, though, Castro? Is it 99 messy, though? That's the question. Let's go. I needed a team in the season. Hell yeah. Hey, man. Big six Vamos! Always here, playboys, and glad you had a good mini break. Thank you, Callum. I did. I was joking with the chat though, dude. I take took three days off and I lost 500 paying subscribers in three days. Two weeks ago, I took two days off and I lost 800 paying subscribers. Hey, man! Oh, another team of the season. Apparently I should never take days off ever. I got 98 messy, but is it the 99 mm -hmm. though? Brian, I love you, man. Swakey, I love you. Thank you, guys. Look at that, though. Hey, man. You mentioned you've lost some of your subs, and they're like, wait, oh my god, I'm unsubbed to Nick. I'm gonna resub. It works. Blessings, guys. Thank you so much. Let's do one of these ones now. Let's do let's do a 90 plus tots. Hey, Make that 499 lost paying subs. Let's go! Mate, thank you, man. Appreciate you using your primer on me. It's okay. If you guys are using your primers on Zway or run the Fut Market, I get it. I don't blame you. I totally get it. Okay, so I'm not going to use the team of the season, the other team of the season, though, because that would be dumb. The grind don't stop, but it may occasionally pause. Fist me in the butt. Oh, Jesus, Perky! Well, I mean, I wasn't trying to bait gifted subs, but that works. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bergy. I appreciate it, man. God's ways louder and louder every time that alert comes through. Thank you, Bergy. I love you, man. Hey, man. Oh, are we getting rid of... Hey, man. Nani? I guess we are. Hey, man. Wait, 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 I have an idea, I have an idea, guys, I have an idea, I'm gonna go back up to this one here, and then do the 93 instead, maybe that'll work.
It pains me in my soul to overpay for stuff like this, man. It really does. It really pains me to do this, guys. I don't like overpaying. I guess we're gonna do this then. I had to get rid of the two tots. Are we going to have preseason soon? I hope so. I'm that guy. Thank you for the 37. Lord Vader with the 22. Joshua, thank you for the 31. I'm glad you mentioned resubbing. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> Wildcard, thank you for resubbing, man. Appreciate the 11. Much love. Okay. We just no man left behind it in 90 plus. This is where I get my 99 messy, right, guys? Jack, you're my good luck charm. Here we go. What the hell are these choices? What do I do? I finally got the Canadian R9. Do we just go straight up raiding? I think I go Lua, honestly. Johnny D doesn't even get into this team, man. The dream, the Canadian team is on the main account. The RTG is just savage one squad, one dream team, that's it. All right. We got Johnny D on the main yesterday. Tell me you weren't in the stream late last night when I did a surprise I'm back from Whistler stream without telling me. Might as well go Allison. No, I'll go team of the season. One rating less. Um, and then, yeah, Lua. Lua, I think, is better. Can't even pack him anyways. Wait, I got an objective done. Oh, what did I get done? What's this? Oh. What? <gasps> oh, God. We'll try and do a few of these uh, objectives. When do I... I got six days to get Vinny. We definitely will get him. I'm jealous that people have been able to use him already. Vinny is very good. I believe it. Fought birthday, Vinny is a god. Team of the season, Vinny was a god. Whistler's Amen. beautiful. I always want to ski there. Yeah, I'll, pretty much all ski resorts are gorgeous in Western Canada. Cypress, Grouse Mountain, Whistler, they're all awesome, dude. Whistler's very overpriced. It's beautiful, but it is very overpriced. You got the Vinny collection, Noah. Let's go. That's good. V Vinny collectibles. Wait, Stalker 2? When is Stalker 2 coming out? Oh my god, when is Stalker 2 coming out? Wait, Stalker 2 released a new video, guys? We gotta watch that. We gotta watch that, boys. Getting ready for the new the charity stream. Are you a skier? Much love less than three. Uh, I grew up skiing and skating, and then when I was 11 years old, I went to Quebec on a, um, I don't know what you would call it, like a pen pal exchange. So I went to Quebec to hang out with this girl I was a pen pal with in Quebec. A bit too young to, you know, anyways, relax. I was 11 for God's sake. Uh, and then she came over like to Vancouver or whatever. But anyways, when I went out there, her family were avid skiers, but avid snowboarders. So like in Quebec, I went to one of the local hills or whatever, and uh, they taught me how to snowboard in like six days or five days. So then I came back to Vancouver and uh, decided to start snowboarding. Uh, we're talking like, what was that? 96, 97, something like that. So early nineties, I was skiing. And then from 96, 97 onwards until probably mid two thousands, I snowboarded. I haven't snowboarded in probably 10 years, 15 years. Just no time, man. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love, I love winter sports in general, but it's just no time. Mount Tremblant. It might've been, I, I can't remember. I was too young to remember. It was nothing like the, the, the ski resorts in, in Vancouver though. It was very, Lackluster, I would have to say. No disrespect to Eastern Canada's mountains, but they suck. <laughs> Compared to with the West Coast. Y'all's mountains suck, did it?
Being 6'4", it's hard to find a board to use. I'm 6'3". No issues. It's okay to have a shorter board anyways. It's easier for... For just freedom of... At least from when I was younger. And dude, you gotta remember, back in the late 90s, snowboards were like using a brick... A... Concrete... Pallet. They were so heavy. My buddy showed me his, his recent snowboard and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, bro, this is crazy. I was, I was barely able to lift my snowboard way back then. It's like using a plank piece of uh, a cedar. Like 200 pounds. <laughs> Didn't you and somebody else get stuck skiing somewhere and you nearly died? Yep. Yep. Me and my cousin went skiing out of bounds. This is a little bit later. This is probably like late. No, it's probably early 2000s. Probably 2001, 2002. On uh, Cypress Mountain. We went skiing out of bounds. And then got lost. And then stuck in a huge ravine. Of like probably six inch deep powder. And it took us like six hours to get out of it. Hey, Batch. Crazy. Hey, Crazy story, but it's a really long story. I don't, I don't really feel like explaining it. engaged the other night and it still hasn't hit me yet. Super excited to start life with my longtime girlfriend. Let's go, Cam. Well, thank you very much for the bits and congratulations to you. Enjoy. Enjoy the start, my man. Um, And Dylan. I'm so sorry, man. And Jord. Thank you guys both. Thank you guys both for the subs. Yeah, good news on the charity stream front. I told you guys we were having major issues with the shirts. We still have no actual company or process to produce shirts, but we have a design being finalized. Probably one of the cooler F Cancer charity designs that we've done. It's like a Canada-themed one. Obviously, I'm proud to be Canadian, so it's uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Very, very cool. I really want to do a shirt design where there's a small design on the front and then a big design on the back. Like back in the day, you guys remember back in the day, no fear shirts and stuff? Like I grew up again in the 90s or whatever, right? And I used to love having like a no fear shirt that had like little little design and then like a big design in the back. Car shows, car companies, we always used to do that. Dude, getting um, a printed shirt that has a print on the front and a print on the back adds so much to the cost of the shirt, it's outrageous. It's outrageous. It's really annoying. Wearing last year's today? Hell yeah, bro. I'm wearing a, uh, this is my birthday present. I don't know if you guys can read it. It says, uh, my, my nieces and nephews bought this for me for my birthday. It's, it says, heavy weights, light heart. I don't know what that means, but, um, I think it, I think they're talking about me working out, but having an, a light heart. I don't know what a light heart is, but... They said it suited me, and I was very touched. No fear, Billabong. Yeah. Lighthearted. Think it means kind heart? I'm not sure what it means, but... I was very appreciative that they got something that they said... Kinda matches me. Whatever. Whatever it means at the end of the day, I suppose. Small chest pocket graphic in the front, big graphic in the back. Yeah, that I mean, and this is kind of the, the redesign for N28 shirts that I want to do. Like a cool N28 logo, and then a, a dope design in the back. You know, it's some gym attire, that type of stuff. I really want to do as well, because of like Western Canada where I grew up, like... Um, uh, First Nations and art and, and whatnot is, is very prevalent where I live and like I grew up around that too. So I'd be really cool. I'd like to commission a First Nations artist to do a like a couple of designs and then pay them uh, and then on the, on obviously all those designs. I think it'd be really cool. Like I grew up in White Rock for anybody that knows where that is in Vancouver, like on the West Coast. Um, and there's a lot of like First Nations tribes around the area. So um couple of really, really cool design totem poles in the area and whatnot. Um, so I think I'd like to do something cool like that and help them make some proper money as well to support their area. So I think that'd be really, really cool. But again, just the logistics of that, I don't even know how I would do it. Like, I love orcas. I love, like, it kind of... And, and again, First Nation designs, at least on the West Coast, is very, like, orca-influenced as well. 
So it'd be cool to get like N28 logo designed in with like, you know, maybe a Canadian moose designed in with an orca, designed in with a Twitch chat, like a really, really cool big logo for the back would be sick. Hey man. Make some for hooded tank tops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, like a little logo on the front and then a big one on the back would be sick. I don't know Dime, no. I'm kind of very out of the loop when it comes to um, uh, uh, skating and snow, uh, snow and snowboarding and stuff. Like I said, I, I haven't been part of that world in 10 or 15 years, if not more, honestly. Reach out to local nation office. They should be able to connect you with their member artist. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. That's a great idea. I just, like, a First Nation artwork, maybe it's because of where I grew up, um, is, is always been super, super cool to me. And my mom is, 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 is very much involved in that world, for lack of a better word, I suppose. Would you do, like, a Canuck design? Um, I, I, no, I wouldn't be like the Vancouver Canucks. It'd be more like, if you've seen First Nation artwork from West Coast, from West Coast Canada, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. Just Google it. First Nation, um, artwork, Western Canada. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Keep up the good work, Nick. Have you seen Star Yes! A sick open world game that is located in space with over 1,000 planets to explore. Yes, I have. Something that's very interesting. It comes out a few weeks before FIFA does, right? So we can kind of dabble in some Starfield. I mean, there was a bunch of betas and, and, and alpha tests and whatnot. I'd love to try that, yeah. When, when, does it have an official alpha release? I would love to try that. We'll I mean, I want to try Stalker feet. too as well. Can't wait for the grind next month. Early access is the first. Is it on? Uh, am I buying it on Steam? Am I buying it on Steam? I mean, that will stop my grind on Escape from Tarkov, but that's okay. <clears throat> hey, man. Tarkov Arena with no release date is frustrating. I agree. Sam, thank you for the 21, bro. Armored Core 6 comes out at midnight. Um, it's from Soft Game. Where you fight with mechs and customize them. Dude, I remember that back in the day. We could try some Armored Core 2. Dude, I'm just really enjoying my Tarkov grind right now. Everyone, it seems like every content creator hates Tarkov currently, or the current wipe. I, I mean, the cheaters ruin the game. But I love the start of Tarkov just because of, like, the, the, the questing runs. I can't wait for the December escape from Tarkov wipe. That'll be the big one. That'll be the big one. I'm definitely going to have to put aside some time every day to play that Tarkov wipe, for sure. But, like, very few things give you an adrenaline rush than when you wipe a team of two or four players in Tarkov. Like, last night on Reserve, wiping that team of three Chads, I d there's very few things that give you an adrenaline rush like that, man. Christmas with my family? I'll be grinding Tarkov. <laughs> Uh, I've already prepped my family, man. They know from September to February, they won't be seeing me. So I've spent so much time with the family through June, July, and August. Because they know that September to February is FIFA and Tarkov degen time. Do a 80 plus by three. See if we can get something juicy here.
Is the plan for uh, FC24 still rich man and two hour PMRTG? Yes. Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Hey, man. I think that's going to be the best of both worlds, man. Rich man account where there's no limitations. We react to 6 p.m. content, right? That's a quick video that gets uploaded every day. Um, give me a second here. My audio is tripping balls again, man. All right. We're all good. Will I be doing two sets of weekend leagues? We'll see. I think so, yeah. Depends. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be going back to taking Saturdays off, right? Uh, because my son's soccer season is back in full swing. I want to be supportive of that. Taking him to all his practices and his games and whatnot. I, want, I, I pride myself in being an involved father. Um, so... Whether or not Friday to Sun and Sunday I'll be able to play two sets of champs games, I'm not sure. But we'll see. I mean, the main account will be going for best finishes in champs. The RTG will try and figure out what's efficient. Because again, I'm only going to have two hours on a Friday and two hours on a Sunday. Some of you guys might have that only as well, right? So maybe we just chase nine wins or 11 wins. You have to, you know, quit games. If I'm two or three nothing down, we'll have to quit out of games. I'll have to see what type of efficiency there will be. And not to mention, I could play an hour or two on Saturday in the evening on my own time. Um, it's still two hours a day, right? But I think the ideal would be doing two sets of weekend leagues. It's just there's going to be a focus on trying to not lose my mind. So whatever that entails. I feel like I do have a uh, new outlook on the grind um so the rage has subsided c considerably versus the last couple of years these packs have no special cards well they don't have special cards until they do right it's kind of how this game works If you quit out when behind, you can get 11 in about an hour and 30. Have you finished Elden Ring yet? Much no. Love and 28 love. No, I have not. Um, but as I have said with Elden Ring... Um, hey, man. Uh, as I've said with Elden Ring, though, uh, I was always going to take a break from Elden Ring when Tarkov wiped, right? Let's just get this one done before I forget, because what, what are we, 8 minutes away from 6pm content? Gary and Hamrin and Dand and Samit and Pearson, thank you guys all for the subs. Thank you guys. What's up, Rossi? I'm happy to be back, man. Feels feels weird taking three days off or four days off. God knows how maybe in the future I'm going to take out ten days off to go on vacation with a family to a different country or something. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I haven't done that in about five years. Hey, man. A year and a half gone by quick, huh? Thanks for the content and hope you had an amazing trip to Whistler. I did, man. Thank you, Liam. It was uh, It was amazing. It was very, very good. Hey, man. Get this guy gone, by the way. I hate that he's sitting here, like, tripping me out. Get him out of here. I guess Denzel can go. I'm not really using him. There we go. All right, that's 85 done. Hey, man. Emil! Sevs! Thank you guys! Appreciate it! 
Okay, 85s are, are uh, done. And then we get a reset of, is it 7 or 10 for 6 p.m.? Thanks, Steve. Yeah, it was nice, man. Whistler is just beautiful. All these 85 by 10s. Seven? Okay. I don't know how many I actually have right now. Kind of lost track. If you go on vacation for 10 days, let Armalika stream on this channel. That's not how things work, brother. I am the only one that can stream on this channel. I am on an exclusive contract with Amazon and Twitch. Uh, that's like PSG signing Renato Sanchez and then him being like, okay, I'm going to be gone for seven days, so I'll, I'm going to hire Zwayback to kick the ball around for me. I don't know how that comparison even makes sense, but it did in my head. Nice procedure, first golds, then specials. Yeah, because, I mean, how do you know... You don't want to just overspend on uh, on the rating, right? Or overuse on the rating. It keeps the grind alive if you do it like this. Can both sit on the bench. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's true, too. Hey, man. Um, to be back. And 28 love. You get so many more subs if Zway streamed here, though. I'm pretty happy with how many subs and viewers I have, man. Hey, man. Thank you for that comment, though. SOS, thank you for the 58. Much love. God bless, dude. Stream replays. I could do something like that, but I mean, it's... I don't know. It's not the same, right? Sup, Johnny? How you doing, brother? Here we go. Restocking the club nicely. Who's this? Oh, Starboy! Baller. New streamer, guys. Follow for follow. How about suck your mom? Done your daily login? Damn, you know what? I don't actually think I have. I always forget to do it. Let me go double check. I've only done it three or four times. Is it? It's in upgrades, right? Wait, is it in upgrades? Yeah, no, daily bronze upgrade. Daily gold upgrade? Daily login, there we go. What league am I going to start new FIFA with? I mean, on the RTG, I guess it depends on what type of untradeables we pack, right? Uh, in terms of what I what I start with. The, um... The main account? I don't know. I, I'm going to... I'm going to start with buying Cruyff and Wesley Schneider. Those are the two things I'm going to focus on. And then seeing where our coin balance is at, what type of untradeables we've packed... Um, I mean, on the RTG, I'll, I might even start with the, uh, some championship stuff, right? Because uh, I want to Evo some Leeds players, I think. Some Leeds talent. Is it too late to get pre-order bonuses? Yes. Uh, August 22nd was the last day. What league will Schneider be in for his initial hero? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if his 91 card is a day one card. If it's a day one card, it's going to be Serie A. 
I mean, I guess his maybe his like base card will be an heir to Vizzy, maybe? I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. Like Nanto? Yeah, like Nanto. Hey man, I'm I'm all for giving second chances. Life is all about getting second chances. Is Nike promo only during early access? I have no idea. You on PC next FIFA? I'm on PC always. I really, really hope the Evo stuff is good, man. I'll be very, very annoyed. All right, what do we got for 6 p.m., boys? It's a Thursday. It's not a Friday. But let's see. What do we got for a Thursday content? Ooh, I saw something there. Oh, Fuddy. Wait, okay. Fuddy's Cup. Oh, wait, no, this is... Oh, God, I got to do this, too. Oh, my Lord. What do I have? 23 hours left of this? Fud Champs bonus? I don't think I'm going to do any of this, guys. I don't really care. I don't think I care. Maybe, though. Eight wins is pretty chill. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see. Depends. There's 900 XP. Does that get us Vinny, by the way? No, it gets us close, though. Did I, did I miss something, guys? Or is there no objective XP whatsoever? We get new marquee matchups. And XP. Okay. 94 plus shapeshifters or fuddies. What the hell is this? Is this new? Earn one of four shapeshifters. Premium fuddies and heroes. Rated 90. Oh my god. I kind of want to do this. I mean, the good news about this 94 plus is it, it removes some of the dead shapeshifters, right? What's this must be so expensive. Oh my god. What? Okay. Oh! Oh my days! Oh, holy shit! Yo, what is this card, man? The 99 dribbling is crazy. Four squads? Oh my god! That's a W? I, mean, I don't think I need him because I have Lorente, right? Lorente and Alonzo, but damn! Who's doing this card, man? Only four squads? I mean, he looks way better than 95 rated. I don't know if that's just me. Dude, that's a sick card, man. I, I would have loved for him to be five-star weak foot, I'm going to be honest, but whatever. That's just me being selfish. Amen. Okay, so we got a refresh on the 85 by 10. Ginger! Chalky! SOS, thank you guys for the resubs. Um, did I miss anything else? Oh, Jeremy Doku is official now for City. Announce Piro for Leeds. Fab, please. I think he's going to Leeds for a medical right now. Announce Joel Piro, please, for the love of God. Leeds fans need good good news. Okay. So that's it for we got marquee matchups and uh, what's going on with marquee matchups? Any of this matters? so stupidly overpriced but anyhow whatever the daily login refresh don't forget that boys um the weekly objective as well we got wait we got a fuddy's weekly objective too right wait there's milestones as well here we go fuddy's weekly objective oh there you go this way team of the season david well if i wasn't able to pack him now i can just get him from six games that's sick oh that's cool well, we'll be getting uh we'll be getting Vinny hopefully for tomorrow. That's exciting. That's very exciting. And then we can work on that level 41 bonus too. Nice. Wait, what? What have I missed? Have I missed something? Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, this is usually where we see what if we get new cover stars. Wait, that's in the milestone section, isn't it? 
Oh! Complete the cover star Lothar. Oh, man. That'll be on what, Sunday? Well, there you go. Oh, my God. This card's going to be nuts. FIFA gameplay is so bad. Well, this is the summer of the menus, dude. Dude, we've done 10, 11 months of grinding gameplay. You don't grind gameplay in the end of August, early September. Come on, man. Just menu grind. Don't worry, dude. It'll be September 22nd soon enough, and all we'll be doing is playing gameplay. Give yourself a break from gameplay, man. It's diabolical at this time of year. It's so bad. All right. Let's get some big boy packs. Okay, 85 by 10s are saving for tomorrow. But we got all of these to open. Let's do it. Okay. King Eric. Seems fitting to pack him. God bless. Anyone else in there? No. Alright, we'll take that though. That's a W. 94 rated. Thinking of transferring to PC. How's the market situation? For Road to Glories, the, the split market is amazing. I don't know about the rich man though. Hey man. We'll see on PC how the rich man does. But for the RTG, it's so easy to make money with split markets. Amen. And 28 LE. I like having split markets. A lot of people say and are upset that uh, FC24 might have a split market with PC. I hope it does. But we're all seeing mixed reviews right now or mixed news. Some news outlets and, and leakers are saying that the markets are shared just like crossplay is for gameplay. But then some people are saying that EA themselves have said that uh, the market is not is not shared so so time will uh time will tell i suppose um let's do an 85 by 10. anyone else's fifa get uninstalled after the update i had to repay for my ea play pro it showed, obviously, when my EA Play Pro expired that I didn't have um, the game. So when I, repaid, when I repaid my yearly subscription for EA Play Pro, I got everything back. There's absolutely no good reason why the market shouldn't be shared. No, there is. I mean, hackers, if EA can't deal with hackers on PC, uh, the game will be destroyed uh, if, if the markets are shared. No, there's absolutely a reason to split the markets, but if if they can make it so that um, hackers are dealt with, then yeah, no, amazing. Really. I thought hackers affect gameplay, not the market. I mean, brother. Okay, don't get toxic, Nick. Just answer the statement or reply to the statement. If hackers are able to destroy the game and get infinite top tier rewards, they then take all those coins onto the market, sell the coins for dirt cheap, and it destroys the market for console and PC players. It's a trickle down effect, right? Or a trickle up effect. Just like happened in previous years, right? I mean, hacking unchecked completely destroys the entire ecosystem of FIFA. Am I going to do the 94 Shapeshifter PP? I think so. Should we do it, guys? Should we do it? Okay, next dupe, let's uh let's start working on that PP. It's free, so why not? Well. Might have to open an 85 by 10 to restock a little bit here. Did it got four dupes? Well. Unsurprising, I suppose. Hey man. W. Okay, 284 pluses. Come on, baby. Yeah, I'll probably do it twice. I think we can do it twice this episode. Drew, thank you for the 16, man. Let's go. Depends how much you like peepees. I love peepees. Oh, Garfunkel. Thank you for the 57. Did I say thank you even? Thank you, man.
Cavs. Leeds boy. Who doesn't like peepees? That's what I'm saying, bro. How can you not? How can you call yourself a proper FIFA bro if you don't like peepees? Come on, man. Have some self-respect. Damn, no special. Oh, okay. Is the 94 pick unlimited? No, no, you can only do it twice. R9. No. Well, it's a 94. I need some, some fodder. Oh, Roussillon. Roussillon was pretty legit when we used him on the main account. I like my neighbor's PP. Okay. Wait, what was his PP? R9? Did he get an R9 or something? I just want to see center forward. Where's my messy, dude? Wait, is Messi a striker? Wait, I thought Messi was a center forward. Oh my god, so that Lotaro Martinez? I didn't even react because I thought Messi was a center forward. Oh, that's even worse to know. Because there's a Lotaro in packs, isn't there? Oh, I kind of wish I didn't know that, honestly. Do you see the Cruz comment on Fabrizio's post about Vega on Insta? Yeah, he said embarrassing or something, didn't he? Again, that's always my biggest sadness when young super talent goes to Saudi for money. I understand, like, washed up or, like, near the end of their career pros, I get it, but... When it's super talents going to Saudi, I just think that's sad. And Icardi? Oh, God. And I thought that I thought I thought Vega was going to Napoli. I thought it was a done deal. Like, here we go. But apparently he changed his mind because he got offered four hundred trillion dollars in salary from Saudi. And I mean, I don't blame Vega. Again, football is a cruel sport. Who knows? He might have a career ending injury in one year. So if he wants to secure his family's life, I don't blame him. But at the same time, it is a bit sad. I don't blame him. I think in his situation, all of us would do the same thing. Go to Napoli for European football for 100 grand a week or go to Saudi to secure the bag for 500 grand a week. We're all, I know you guys think, oh, but 100 grand is a lot of money. It doesn't matter, man. I, 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 you think that because right now you have no grand a week and neither do I. So you think 100 grand a week, well, of course I'm gonna go for Napoli. But in that situation, I, gun to your head, I know 99% of everybody in this community that's slating Vega. I used to as well. I used to be a lot more savage on players leaving to the, the Chinese Super League or the MLS or whatever for big money because I didn't have the foresight to think and put myself in their shoes. I think 99% of all of us are going for the money. You, you just... You, you, you just think from a football fan's perspective or from all of us, we're not, all, we're not millionaires, right? So you would just be like, oh my God, I love... I, I'm a Napoli fan. I would rather play for 100 grand for Napoli. Yeah. In that situation, you're taking the money. Let's be real. I mean, the other thing is too is 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 do you really blame him? Maybe maybe he goes for because you don't know. Maybe this Saudi money doesn't last forever. So I, I, he's what 18, 19 years old. He goes for two, three years, probably still balls out, makes five hundred million, and then he comes back to a Napoli, or he comes back to a an AC Milan, and then gets his European football at twenty three or twenty four or twenty five. Like I mean, you know. In that way, he guarantees his future. If he isn't injured and, and, and continues to progress his career, then he can go play European football. Yeah, for God's sake, Zlatan went to the MLS and then went back to Europe. And he was like in his 80s. Or 50s or 40s or whatever. Only club I'd play for less money for is Arsenal. Again, I think you say that now. If you're actually a professional and Arsenal said, hey, come play for us for 50 grand a week, 
and you're at that level and a Saudi team says, come play for 400 grand a week, you're going to the Saudi team, man. You are. Right now, in your mindset, I know you're saying, no, 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 I love Arsenal, I would. Try to win the Premier League, whatever. I, you're going to Saudi, man. You're going to Saudi. There's no way Casillas is the cover star for tomorrow. I mean, I don't know if that's a spoiler, and I hate your guts if it is, but that's exciting. I'll do him. Dude, that Trophy Titan Casillas was insane. When was Casillas a, a cover star? How long ago were we talking? Dude, massive W. Anyone else use that Trophy Titan Casillas? Crazy card. Similarly, the extreme hype around Messi's performance in the MLS is ridiculous. World Cup winner goes to a dev league and rips it up. It's like me turning up to my cousin's under 12s match and destroying. No, I I, I agree. I agree. I, I, I've kind of said that a few times. I, I, I agree. I mean, I, I, I know I would get obliterated for it if I posted it on Twitter, but I, I'm one of the people that's not overly excited about watching Messi play in the MLS. I don't care. Messi is a god. Of course he's going to tear it up. It just seems very false. It, it, uh, it seems very, very false. It seems very false. I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I, I know Messi fans, you know, the fanboys, MLS fanboys are just going to get extremely offended by that statement, but it's just so dead. I don't know. I'm not, Im I'm not impressed. I mean, I'm super happy that he's balling. I'm super happy that it's creating a crazy hype for the MLS. Whatever, that's all good. But I just, I'd, I'd rather watch Leeds in the championship than watch Messi run around, uh, run through guys that have seemingly no idea how to defend. I haven't seen horrible football like that in, on, in the West Coast MLS games I've watched, but dear God. Will I watch the Saudi League this year? No, I don't give two shits about the Saudi League at all. I won't be watching the Saudi League. I won't be watching women's football. I won't be watching the MLS, really, unless I go to local Vancouver Whitecaps games. I don't care. I don't care about any of it. I'm not going to pretend like I care because that's what social media wants me to do. I care about Leeds. I care about the top four leagues. I care about the Eredivisie, you know, just to see what Ajax are doing. That's, that's what I care about. Now, whatever you enjoy... If you enjoy the Saudi League or the Women's League and you want to use Saudi League players in FIFA or women in FIFA, that's awesome. I, I have no shade to throw at you for that. By all means, enjoy. But I just, I don't care. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything to me. But we going to be playing with women in FIFA? Yeah, I mean... I'll probably use some Saudi players and some MLS players next year. Probably use some 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 women next year as well. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't mean I have to give a shit about either leagues. I mean... <laughs> What's up, Jordan? Yeah, like no one care about leads? Yeah, but you're... I'm talking about myself. I'm talking about what I care about. I care about Leeds, so I'm going to focus on that. I care about the Prem. I'm going to focus on that. If you care about women's football or the Saudi League, then fair enough. I mean, like I've seen in, in, in the chat in the last couple of minutes, I've ruffled some feathers by saying that. But good for you, like I said. <laughs> no one is telling you to give a shit, though, paranoid. I'm literally answering a question. Post to me in the chat, you weirdo. What the hell are you talking about? Hey, man. It was a question asked to me, you wet wipe. What are you on about? starting to feel the build up to FC24. Hope everyone is happy and healthy on your side. Do you care about League One? I find it hard to. I don't give a shit about League One. Nope. 
Not at all. The only reason I ever gave a shit about it was to watch what Jonathan David was doing and to see what, like, Messi and Neymar and Mbappe are kind of doing. But I, I don't give two shits about League One. To me, League One isn't even anywhere near the top leagues. Nowhere near. League, uh. All right, let's put Tom into the uh, into that PP. Pee -pee. Bro said, "Who asked?" Like there isn't a whole chat. Like the question wasn't actually asked. <laughs> In my own community, dude. What a weird human being. Oh wait, do I need Team of the Seasons for any of this? No, just 89 rated squad. Dope. Probably should save some Team of the Seasons, right? I feel like this is not worth doing. What do you guys think? Amen. This 90, I mean, if I get a 99 Messi, I'm down, I guess. It's Zway's viewers for sure? No, what the hell? That's an insult to Zway. What do you mean? No, I think me and Zway share the same viewer base, for the most part. I think if you're insulting Zway's viewers, you're insulting my viewers at the same time. Finally get rid of this guy. Oh, I guess I don't need to. Oh, no, I do. Um... Will there not be a preseason? I'm not sure. I don't know. Do I see a lot of fans IRL? No. Nope. Dude, I'm a nobody anyways. How... I... I... There's no chance anyone would recognize me, especially in Western Canada. Frosty! Thank you for watching the channel enough to earn a free gift request from the chat. Best of luck to you, my man. Can you rap like Zway? Nope. Zway is super talented as much as we want to troll him. In the UK, you would? I think in the UK, I'd probably be recognized, but for negativity. You should see my fucking comments when I talk about football, dude. It is so horrible. making a stream for once. Amen. Um, DLB, thank you for the five, man. Red hair, thank you for the gifted sub. God bless. Much love to you. All right, I think I actually do have to open an 85 by 10, dudes. Otherwise, we won't be able to get this uh, this PP done. I mean, we would, but... Lol, sorry, but they're forcing us to use them? On what world are you being forced to use women in FIFA or Saudi players in FIFA? Nobody's forcing you to do anything, you freak. Like I said, I know you're too much of a pea brain to understand what I was saying. It's perfectly fine if you don't give a shit about women's football and you don't want to use them in FIFA. Nobody gives a shit if you care or don't care or want to use Saudi players in the game. Nobody's forcing you to use them or to not use them. You're a moron. All right, Egalo, Glez, and Ahmed. Let's get it. Hey, man. What's up, Nick? Are you going to try out Starfield? I think so, uh, Blibby, yeah. I think so. Wait, where did the pee-pee go? Where did my pee-pee go? Oh. Where did my pee-pee go? Damn. That's something you never want anyone to ask. Is 
It's crazy how upset people get because you play with women footballers. I mean, no one's played with women footballers. The game isn't even out yet. But I mean, I, I told you guys this. I, I don't care about women's football or Saudi football or the Chinese Super League. But I am damn for sure going to make sure to use Canadian women and beat players in FIFA and cause them to lose their mind. Because I know how brain dead some people are. And I will take great joy in beating some dipshit with a full Canadian women's team. I cannot wait. I mean, again, two things can exist in the world. I cannot care about women's football or the Saudi league, but I can still use women footballers and Saudi players to make other nerds cry if I want, right? Those two things can exist. Why can they not? What's so offensive about not caring about a league or a sport, but being perfectly okay for them to be in the game and to use them if you feel like it? Why is the world and the Twitch chat or the FIFA community so dumb not all of you guys, obviously, but the vocal minority are so dumb where it has to be one or the other. You either have to be fully accepting of women in FIFA and using them and whatever, or you have to not want to use them and not care about the sport and not want them in the game. Like, why can't it be a bit of both? What? Why can it not? Why is it so offensive that I have no problem with women being in FIFA? And if you want to use them, more power to you. But at the same time, I don't give a shit to use them or care about the, the, the sport. Why is this? Why do people? I love how I basically make both sides angry at me. When I say I don't give a crap about women's football, but I also don't care that they're in the game and more power to you if you want to use them. I get raged on by these like Andrew Tate wannabe virgins that are offended that women are in the game. And then I get I get rage from these politically correct little snowflakes that are upset that I don't care about women's football. It's it's so mind, it's so mind blowing to me. Why can't those things exist? I don't know, you tell me. Let's go, another high rated pull. I needed it. You have to fight either side, can't be neutral. I mean, isn't the whole world about neutrality? understanding the points of either side of the argument i mean if i'm in the neutral point i understand the side of the the snowflakes and whatever and, the, and that that want any and all types of players in fifa and i totally get it and i respect it but then i also see the other side of like i don't have to care about it right why can't those two things exist do, do i all of a sudden have to care about the saudi league i don't give a shit about the saudi league i barely like i said i barely care about the mls what what so now I have to fake caring about women's football? I don't care about it. I have no problem that it's in FIFA, but I don't care about it. Wait, what is so wrong with that? Such a silly thing. Only Sith deals in absolutes? Exactly. Dude, we should be praised for 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 being centrist and being able to look at both sides of the argument and understanding the opinions of 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 both sides and the thought processes of both sides why does everything have to be so divisive it has to be one or the other like bro i'm so tired of it man walking on eggshells to keep both sides happy like fuck both sides how about that it's just so silly A 93 doesn't work. I bet the 97 will, though. All right, let's do that. All right. Here's our PP, boys. Oh, God. Is there anything good in this? Please, God, can I get a Messi? Or a Ronaldo? Or a Ney? Or an Mbappe? Should we do a reveal? I feel like we should do a reveal. This is a pretty big pack. I think we should do a reveal, boys. I think we got to do a reveal here. We haven't done a reveal in ages. I think this might be one of the only... One of the only um, reveals that's worthwhile. I don't even remember how to do it, if I'm honest. Okay, we ready? Here we go. All right. We'll start with uh, this side. Come on. Give me a 99 Messi, baby. No! This is Allison for sure. Wait, who's this? Oh, my God. 97 Florenzi. Forgot he was even available. Okay. Please don't be already owned. Okay, here we go. Come on. Hey, man. Come on, 99 Messi. Wait, what? This is Rudiger again, isn't it? 
Oh, damn. A 97 Pogba. Okay. It's a bit dead, though, isn't it? I want Fuddy's cards, dude. Okay, no already owned. Yes! Come on, Messi. Messi, 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 Messi. Ankara Messi, Ankara Messi. No! Who the hell is this? <gasps> Kunde? Oh, 96 Araujo. We were just talking about him. Okay, that's not terrible. I'm going to go Araujo, I think, guys. That's our new center back. Already owned. I hate it here. Chavi Simmons, bro. Guys, we got to go Araujo, yeah? Araujo or Pogs? That is not worth the grind, I don't think. I mean, Araujo is a top five center back in the game, yeah? What are we thinking? Uh, mole and Retro and Slip the Sausage. Thank you, guys. Wait, he's crazy rare? Is he? I mean, Cooley Daddy comes out of the team, yeah? It's too bad that he doesn't have a um, premium chemistry. Pogba's rare? Nah, I don't, I'm don't. never going to use Pogba, dude. I'm never going to use Pogs. Whereas Araujo straight up gets in the team. Pogs doesn't. Yeah. I think that's, hey, the, that's the setup, boys. MLS just released this year's Kick Childhood Cancer Kit on their site. I assume the white caps are getting one too, but it's not out yet, it seems. Oh. It's the perfect color for team of the year if you were looking for one for it. Just snagged a Philly one. How, SJ, how would I get the white caps jersey? I'd love to. How would I do that? I'd, I want to wear it for the charity stream. Perfect, perfect jersey to wear for the charity stream. Pogba 400k, Araujo 100k? Yeah, but no matter his price, Pogba doesn't get in the team. No matter his price, Araujo gets in the team. No? Who cares about the price of two untradeable players? I, I suppose that's the way I'm looking at it. I don't know if it's the right way to look at it, but that is how I'm looking at it. Check the site later. Looks like they're slow releasing them today. Yeah, let me know if there's a, a size large, if it's available. Because that stuff is probably going to sell out pretty quick, right? I didn't... Shirt supplier isn't locked up, locked in yet. No, unfortunately. Oh, I forgot he was even in packs. Dangler? Oh, wow. Well, there's our first Fuddies in God knows how long. He seems to be the only Fuddies I can pack. Him or bloody uh, Allison? Do we do another PP, pee -pee, guys? I think we do another PP. Pee -pee. Let's do another PP. How the hell else am I going to get Leo? This should be decent. Uh, decent? Easy to complete. I haven't seen Moments Ronaldo yet. Uh, yeah, a few people in the chat have packed him. Well, these 82s ain't gonna work, that's for sure. This should work now. Um... Gotta cut your... Yeah, I'm gonna save 1085 by 10s for tomorrow. The rest will just open here to help us craft this PP. Don't you think unlimited pack waste of time and it's easier to put FIFA points? For sure, if you're a Saudi prince and don't have any understanding of the value of money, absolutely, in August 24th, is it better to spend FIFA points than grind this game for free? Yeah. That's okay. I mean, everybody has a different situation in their life, brother. If you see what I'm doing and think it's a waste of time and it's better for you to spend FIFA points, go for it. I, I, I'm not going to tell you not to. I'm going to tell most of my community not to, but... What's the point in saving packs? Well, just because tomorrow's team might be a really fun team. That way I don't have to grind as hard. 
Again? Oh, well, I guess we gotta deal with him as a dupe now. Jordan, thank you for the 92, brother. Shane, thank you for the 44. Come on. Give us a good Fuddy's Dangler. Never mind. Laurent Blanc is an absolute god card. Mr. Anderson. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Damn, I really can't wait for my kids to be old enough to watch um, the Matrix trilogy. I think they're quite a ways away from that, though. Makes sense to save the 84 by 30 then for tomorrow? I don't think I'm even going to do it. I find that to be a ripoff pack, personally. Mr. Anderson. So kudos to West Ham now instead of to Brighton. That's a wild one. Seems to be progressing. Leeds United hoping to get Joel Pirro move over the line in the next 24 hours. Let's go. Hopefully the same thing that happened with Aaron's doesn't happen with Pirro. That would suck. Kudus is starting today. I mean, he's still balling for Ajax, isn't he? Dude, I was watching highlights of him shredding earlier. That's how you support your club and still, like, get a move, too, right? You do what he's doing. Let the agents work in the background and you still play for your team. Kudus might go to the Saudi League. Was on a Dutch website. Jai, really? I mean, again, yes, I do find it slightly disappointing, just like I did with Vega. But if the guy's got to just lock up his future, fair play. Brighton seem to think they're bigger than what they really are, since they're refusing to let Kudus use them as a stepping stone. Hey, back. I think that's a silly comment. The Canadian teams either aren't out yet, or they forgot. But here's the link for all of them, so you can save it if you want. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not working with the same setup because I think in Canada we have different like um, uh, charities and organizations. Maybe that's what it is. God, how many times have we packed Julian Brent? Oh my god! I didn't even realize he was available! Holy moly. Five star, five star. Finally we get a new Fuddies. Holy sh... This is what we all thought Eden Hazard cards would look like at this time of year for Team of the Season. Meanwhile, Eden Hazard just has the most heartbreaking five years I've ever seen for a footballer. Anyways. A 95 premium Mertens. The Galatasaray badge is something I probably won't be able to put in the team, but... Card is 14k. That's so crazy. You know, you want to know what's embarrassing? I don't know what the hell my dupes were. What were the dupes, guys? Were they, 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 they were the two Totses, right? I think they were the two Totses. I think they were the two Totses. As a West Ham fan, if Kudus goes to Saudi over us at 23, I think he dodged a small bullet. Wow. I mean, even if that was true, I wouldn't expect West Ham fans to admit that. That's wild. I would never admit that as a Leeds fan. But maybe that's because I'm deluded. I don't know. My phone is filled with pics of dupes from the 10 times packs. Really? Are you just taking... Well, I'm a moron, hey? Apparently Julian Brand was one of the dupes. Didn't even realize it. Okay, well, we get another PP, boys. Let's go. Vamo. Wait, whoops. Vamos a la playa, Carajo. Hey, man. Good to see you back, Nick. Hey, Alex. Hope you and the fam had a great time away. We did, brother. We did. It was nice, man. It was very nice.
I'm always screenshotting my dupes. Haha, <laughs> that's why. Fair. But if you just do uh, newest to oldest, that works too, right? Hey, man. Hi, Nikki. What's up, Wilson? How are you, man? How are you, Duda? Do, 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 do. I just sing my dupes. That's actually not a bad shout. I used to do that for, uh, I used to be in competitive public speaking in uh, elementary school. I'd go to these big amphitheaters and do, make a, 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 a speech about a subject I was interested in and then competitively present it with, uh, against other guys. And whenever I'd have terrible anxiety and panic before stepping on stage, like in a university auditorium, uh, the night before I would like sing my speech out and it helps you memorize it. I don't know why the hell my parents put me through that, but anyways. Maybe that's partly why uh, we can talk for endless amounts of time on stream, I guess. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Be good to me, please. Please have a 99 Messi. Please. I deserve it. Okay, no already owned as a W. No! I want fuddies! Unless this is Frankie Young or Virgil van Dyke. Oh god, erupt. This might be Virgil. Oh, is this Virgil? This is Virgil! Frankie! <laughs> Let's go! That's the first time in probably two years I've packed a special Frankie. Well, unless there's a 99 Messi, I'm going for Frankie, boys. Already owned. Oh, damn. Okay, well, maybe it's not as rare as I would have thought. Yeah, if it's a 99 Messi... Or a 99 Ronaldo or something like that, that's the only thing that will change my... Who's that? Oh god, Diego Forlan. Disgusting. Come on. Doesn't matter who this is. Unless it's Virgil, then we're in trouble. I don't know who this is even. Oh, King Eric. Okay, so that's an easy one for me, boys. Very, very easy for me. I got Frankie, dude! Let's go! That's sick! Um... Now the problem is, who comes out of the team? I think I will just take Lorente out of the team because Frankie is way more special to me. What, what are we saying, boys? For the Dream Team, Frankie is way more special, right? You never seen that Pogba again, and I would never use that Pogba anyways, so. I love how you're still sticking with that argument, like it matters. Um, actually, Maybe Florenzi comes out of the team then. Let's do this. I think this is the setup. Oh, what a dream team, man. What a dream team, dude. Okay, so Florenzi will just get yeeted then. Love that. Not sure how we would get everyone on Cam because I believe... Cam left wing. Cam left wing. Oh, four triple two gets everyone on chem. Perfect. The only problem is 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 once we get Vinny, what do we do? Yeah, four triple two gets everyone on chem. Nice. Very good. Frankie's uh, unreal. <laughs> Where's Special Libra card? EA hates us, man. We ain't getting a special slot time, I don't think. Diddle do. Did it, did it, did it, did it. This fraud. Do you see Roma fans, dude? Go search Roma Christensen. On Twitter, and then enjoy translating all the Italian tweets. Every Leeds fan losing their mind about Christensen last season is now every Roma fan losing their mind about him. <laughs> Finders keepers, Roma, you're not allowed to give him back to us. He's yours. Deal with it now, nerds. Unlucky Mourinho. 
Deal with it. You can have him and Lorente forever. Thank you very much. Thank you for paying his outrageous wages. God bless. It's so fun. I'm not even kidding, though. Go search Christensen Roma and just translate the Italian tweets about him. It's unbelievably fantastic. It's so good. Oh, they're losing their minds. Uh, right. So we do just 85 by 10s now, right? Till we, till we finish completing them? Take him back? Hell no! He's yours. Dude doesn't know anything about soccer? Uh, are you talking about Mourinho? How dare you, dude. How dare you. What's a soccer? I think it's something you kick. Aren't Leeds going after some guy at Leverkusen? They are. They are. Save the 93 for the next run. Big Al and Gina uh, from the 94 plus PPs. That's a GG. I mean, I w look, Yaya might pull Frankie out of the team. I'll say that right now. If I somehow get a Fuddy's Yaya, he probably pulls Frankie out of the team. But then maybe I'll just get rid of Alonzo. I'll go Frankie and Yaya. That's a lot more close to my heart than uh, Chavi Alonzo and Frankie. All right, come on, 85 by 10s. Let's go. Nice high rated. Yeah, Frankie's my box to box. Uh, Chavi is my holding fulcrum. This is such a fun grind. I love this two hour day RTG. It's kind of why I'm finding it so hard to end this series. I'm, I just have fun every day. I legit have fun every day. It's hard to end the series when I'm having this much fun. I mean, I still have a, a want to get a 99 Messi. I still have a want to get a couple of other players, right? Leeds fans, you still think the championship is easy, idiots? Um... Are you new here? Because I've been saying for the last six months that anybody that thinks Leeds are going to walk the championship are idiots. There we go. That was aggressive. He is new here. I mean, he has his username is 28T. It's something 28T. He's he clearly got to be a fan of me in some way. I don't know how you make your actual Twitch persona around me, which I appreciate. Thank you so much. Um, but then you're just a weirdo. Got news that my girlfriend is pregnant with our seventh child. God bless. Nice. Who's the dad? Uh, real Darren. Congratulations. Messi. Damn it. Nicola. Bienvenido. <laughs> I have coffee on my monitor. Sorry. My apologies. Four more and you got a starting 11? Bro, what chaos, hey? What utter chaos. 
Wait, shouldn't this be a Barca badge soon for Cancelo? Ha! <laughs> How they're getting past financial fair play, God knows. It's from all the peepees we've been doing. <laughs> oh, that's banter. That's banterous. That's Bantersaurus Rex, that is. I haven't seen the Newcastle documentary on Prime. I think in Canada it's not available. The Leeds doc wasn't available ever. So I have to like, I don't know, get a VPN or something? I have no idea. Is it that easy? Like if I get a VPN and set myself to the UK, I can then watch all the UK Prime stuff on my actual account? I mean, it's pretty stupid that I don't just do that anyways. I hate being geolocked. Like, how annoying. How dare you think, oh, he's in Canada. He doesn't want to watch soccer documentaries. Shut your ass, dude. I don't want to watch moose riding documentaries that we get in Canada or freaking lacrosse documentaries. Who cares about wood chopping challenges? I want to watch the Calvin Phillips documentary, bro. Okay, so Florenzi apparently, everybody tells me Allison is who they pack. Florenzi is my Allison, I suppose. Real questions, when am I going to kill Melania? I don't know if I'll be back on Elden Ring, bro, until, I don't know. I, I definitely want to commit to finishing it, but I, I'm really enjoying my Tarkov degening right now, man. Tarkov is so fun. It's everything I love in uh, video games, really. Hey, man. 76. Let's go, Jay! Thank you, brother. How the hell? No way we're almost done the epi for the day. How? How am I already almost done for the day, guys? What has happened? How is this two hour epi already done? Good lord. This is what's so fun about the damn grind, really. Exercise my mind. Exercise my mind. Melania is the twat that I was fighting for four hours, right? And that I just could not make any progress on. You get her to the second stage and then she immediately one-shots you. Is that the twat I was fighting? Maybe, maybe it's good I don't do that. I, I, I got close to smashing my desk for the first time in about five years playing video games. Now, the last time we played Elden Ring was, what, a week ago? Well, before the Tarkov wipe. And I, it's the closest I've been to smashing my desk in five years, at least. Come on, new fuddies. Oh, Rio, let's go. What's up, Ri? Exercise my mind, don't you exercise my mind. How many more do I have? Two more, boys. Two more and we'll probably call the epi. Maybe we'll finish with a 90 plus PP. That's where I'll get 99 messy. Okay? We'll do two more of these and then we'll do the, uh, what am I doing? Am I going to play the new Forza Motorsport? Bro, I barely even touched F1 this year because Nep never was able to play. I love car racing games, but again, I with car racing games, I need to dedicate almost an entire day every day to grinding them to get my true enjoyment out of them, to get lap times down and to do all that stuff, right? And I just don't have the... I don't know what the right word is. I, I guess I don't have the mental space to commit to an F1, two or three months of F1. With, like, all the FIFA I still play, with all the Tarkov I still play, with Elden Ring. I mean, dude, we still gotta get do the Witcher DLCs, man. We just completed the Witcher main game. We never even got to the DLCs yet. So. What is happening right now? Here we go. 
Oh, okay, I can't even use the 90. Is that Barry Bannon? Single player Moose Motorsports? I don't know what it was this year, man. I, I don't know if hey, it man. was the, the, the FIFA grind that was, um... Stopping me from doing it or, 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 or what? I, I don't know. I don't know what my F... I, dude, I'm obsessed with F1. I love F1. I watch it. We talk about it all the time on stream. I, I mean, I watch it. But in terms of the game, I don't know what's changed. Jacko, thank you for gifting us up to Dimmy. How, how generous, brother. Thank you. I miss Gwent. I miss Gwent as well. What a fun game. What level am I in Tarki? Uh, we cracked level 24 yesterday. Late night. I'm actually doing really well on Tarkov right now. I'm playing basically solo. Like 99% of my raids are just me solo. Pretty fun. Yeah, we get F1 back in Holland. I was actually supposed to be in the Netherlands partnering with F1 for the second uh, race after Canada. Supposed to be in the Netherlands right now, uh, preparing a big show for the Netherlands. Still can't believe that got pulled uh, under uh, away from me, man. I'm so heartbroken still by that. Solo Tarkov is painful. Oh, it is. It is. It's very painful. Come on, Dangler. Nope. All right, final 85 10, 85 by 10 of the Epi. We're going to save the, the final 10 for tomorrow. And then we'll do a 90 plus PP to finish. I don't think I've ever used a, a Team of the Season of Alverde. Hey, man. Bring oh, the actual Lom. That's kind of cool. All is well. Thanks, Kyle. Appreciate you, my man. Hi, right, Jorginho. People complaining about Max winning are dumb. I mean, there's always going to be one team that just is way ahead, right? I mean, it was Lewis and Mercedes. It was... You know, would you say Lewis and McLaren? Hey, Maybe man. not. But then you've got yes, Schumacher yes. And, and Ferrari. Oh, yes. I mean, you got Senna. Like, it, it's kind of what F1 is. It's it's up to the other teams and drivers to, to, to keep up or catch up, right? Danny, thank you for the 48. Did we have a dupe there, by the way? I hey, Honestly, I'm, there's so many hey, different topics of conversation here. that I, I don't remember. Um, Slim, hey, thank you for the 55, What's brother. What's up, my guy? Sorry, it's been That's a okay, Rage. Just had my third baby. So oh gosh. Crazy. Back now watching the goat, loving the FIFA and Darky grind. Rage, you enjoying fun. Tarkov too? Hell yeah, man. That makes me happy, brother. Well, Tarkov will probably only be grinded until September 22nd and then we'll be no lifing EAFC 24 until the Tarkov wipe. I mean, I'll probably play a little bit of Tarkov maybe in the evenings, but uh it'll probably only be one or two hours at the end of the stream. Until December, January, when the t the big, big, big Tarkov wipe and update comes. That's when we'll be grinding again. Max literally wins by 30 seconds each race. Lewis least had Rosberg. But that, whose fault is that? Blame Checo for that, really, right? How are you blaming Max for that? I mean, re realistically, you gotta blame Checo, right? No disrespect, but I mean, in that regards, Checo has been a pretty big bottle job. Right? Fair to say? Maybe that's unfair to say. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta blame Checo for that. Unfair to say Checo's car isn't as good as Max's? That's just not accurate. To say Checo's car isn't as good as Max's is not accurate. Any and all Red Bull people, even Checo himself, have said their car is the same. Now, Max, the car might be built around Max and his driving preferences, sure, but that's not, that's a different argument and conversation than saying it's not as good of a car.
I mean, again, in the same breath, that's not to say Checo isn't an amazing race car driver. He is, but he's not as good as Max. I mean, again, both those things can exist. Not blaming Max, not Max's fault. Um, just think it's been boring season compared to the previous. Again, I feel like a lot of people that say this season is boring are new to F1. F1 has always been like this. People have just jumped into F1 from the one or two years thanks to Drive to Survive where we had that insane Hamilton, Max Verstappen battle. And everyone thinks that that's what F1 is thanks to Drive to Survive or that one season. But that's not F1, man. F1 is what you're seeing right now, really. Now, I, again, it's not to say I, I don't, it's not that I don't hope that F1 eventually has a five-way battle for first, but in, in a lot of ways, yes, it's a bit boring that F1 is like this, where one team or one driver dominates, but compared to previous decades, even, second to like 12th is genuinely entertaining. It really is. It really, really is. It's so good, man. If you ignore Max just running away with it. The midfield battle is super interesting this year. It's amazing, man. But again, new F1 fanboys only worry about first place, right? I, I think a lot of motorsport guys, a lot of car guys can can come to appreciate all those crazy battles that are happening in the midfield. At least I, I, I like to do that. I really do. Because it, as much as it, it's a viable, it, no, not a viable, it is a fair complaint that it's boring at, for, at first place. It is also you ignoring how awesome from second to 12th is right now every race i mean we can all just appreciate max as a god first place is out of the window then second to 12th if you could focus on that i i feel like you'll probably enjoy um f1 a lot more anyways this is the last pack of the epi thank you guys for watching another two hour a day poor man road to glory grind i've had another absolute blast today two new players added to the dream team in kunde and frankie pretty damn exciting and uh let's see what tomorrow brings we got a new fuddies team a new event new icons we got 1085 by 10 packs ready to go and i'll do a little 30 minute you know 45 minute grind off of recording to build up maybe a couple more 80 plus packs and uh some more of the other uh grindable packs as well so i love you all appreciate you all thank you for watching we'll catch you on the flip side and whatever dude i guess we'll just go for rating for luca i just want 99 messi We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.